Shalom. Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shah, Barakat the Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Ha Raka Kwadash. Double honor to the apostles and the elders at Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, and all fear shall want. This is Akwana'a from the GMS Birmingham Trumpet Camp, the church in Alabama. And we here at Great Millstone, all right, are in the spirit of hate, all right? And when I say we are in the spirit of hate, meaning we hate this current state called America, all right? We hate this country, all right? We hate our lives here in America, all right? Unlike two-thirds of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And that's uh, scattered abroad throughout the world. All right, you love uh, uh, your situation. All right, you love depending on your oppressor. You love your oppressor. Period. Okay, you love the abominable things that's going on in society uh, at this current time. All right, we, being the hopefully elect. All right, we hate this place, man. All right, thus us lining up with the scriptures. This is uh, the book of First John. Chapter 2, verse 15, and it reads, love not the world, all right? And what's the opposite of love, all right? Hate, and what's the world, all right? This present uh, Babylonian system, all right? This this present uh, uh, spiritually Sodom and spiritually Egypt, all right? Uh, um, realm that we live in, all right? Which is America, okay? The, the most abominable kingdom ever erected in history, okay? And we hate this place, all right? First John 5 and 15, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, all right, if any man love this current state, all right, a state that um, a transvestite, all right, is, is legal to be a school teacher, all right, it's legal for a man to have a baby, all right, and they're trying to make it uh, uh, the norm, okay, that's a society that you shouldn't love. All right. If any man love this world, the love of the father is not in him. And that's why the love of the father. All right. Which is uh, um, in the Paleo Hebrew, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. All right. The Most High. All right. The love of, uh, of, of, of the Most High is not in you if you love a despicable uh, uh, upside down kingdom. All right. Like America. OK. Which is a whore. OK. First John 2 and 15 again, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the father is not in him. All right. So if you're willing to put uh, fame, all right, money, all right, material things before the love of your how about Shem which is doing the work. All right. Which is doing the work, which is, you know, uh, not conforming to this world. The love of the father is not in you. All right. And so you shall be destroyed with the things that you love, which is the world, which is uh, this wicked kingdom, America. All right. And to the Israelites that scattered abroad. OK. Which is controlled by the, the wicked elites of this society. The, the illuminated ones on the left hand side of the most high, the, 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 the uh, uh, physical counterpart of, of the spiritual being. All right. Satan. OK. The world bankers. This world is controlled by the wicked. So why would you love anything that's controlled by the wicked? Okay. This is the book of Romans. Chapter 2. And verse 12. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 1. It's like in Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. It's like, it. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High. All right. That ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. And that's right. All right. The scripture says, I beseech you, brethren. All right. And, and the brethren is the uh, 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 the small number of men that has woken up to the names Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, doing the work of Yahweh Shah. All right. I beseech you, brethren, by the mercies of the Most High, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice. All right. And the mercies of the Most High is understanding this truth, which is the light. All right, of Yahweh Shah, and, and, and through us understanding this truth, all right, we present our bodies as a living sacrifice, all right, because we want to get up out of this world that we hate, all right. It says, holy, acceptable unto the Most High, holy and acceptable unto the Most High, all right, which is your reasonable service, all right. So you want to make yourself holy 
and acceptable unto the most high, which is giving up your body as a living sacrifice. All right. Which that's your reasonable service, man. You know, we uh, the scripture said, well, we're unprofitable service. All right. Because this is something we're supposed to be doing. All right. Number one, because, hey, man, we hate this place. We want to get out of here, man. All right. Number number two is because, hey, Yahweh shot died. All right. For us to get this light. And if you get this light and you don't do the work, hey, you you you, you deserve destruction, man. Romans 2. I'm slocking Romans 12 and 2 and be not conformed to this world. Before we keep going, let's, let's look into that word conform. All right, this is that word conform in the Strong's G, the pronunciation. Strong's G, 4964. Suschematizo. Suschematizo. And it reads, to conform one's self i.e. one's mind and character to another's pattern fashion oneself according to all right so that's what you don't want to do all right to to conform oneself you conforming yourself all right to to the wicked to the ways of the wicked if you conform yourself unto this world all right this current world that we're living in right now i.e. one's mind and character so you you the cat you have the character all right of, of a sodomite if you have the character of an american all right you you have the character of a of a of a lawbreaker, all right? And I mean the uh, uh, a person that hates Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah and don't want to come back to Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. All right? Because two thirds of our people love this world, man. All right. We know Esau Edom is gonna get destroyed and and, and and the other heathen nations, all right? But two thirds you're gonna get destroyed too. And two thirds are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans that, that won't that don't and won't come back to Yahweh Wah Yahweh Shah. All right, come back to the Most High in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. You shall get destroyed. All right, because you're conforming to a wicked world. All right, you're conforming your mind and your character to another another's pattern. This is not your pattern, man. All right, fashion oneself according to. So that's that's what you you people are doing. All right, this is not your pattern. Ameri you're not an American. You're not an African American. All right, I always call an African American a double Edomite. You know. So since we got a clear um, understanding of that word conform. Let's read Romans 12 and 2 again. All right, Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, all right? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, all right? If you've been uh, transformed by the renewing of your mind, which only the elect of the nation of Israel, minds are going to be sent back to the, their old path because they're uh, 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 potential first fruits, the hopeful elect. Okay, and Lord willing, we be a part of the elect. That's why we say the hopeful elect. All right, anybody else is is gonna fashion themselves to the mind of the wicked, the mind of this world. All right, but we have been renewed. All right, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and, and perfect will of the Most High. We are the only ones doing the work of the Most High. All right, and we're we're trying to uh, endure. All right, have patience in the work of the Most High, and, and therefore we shall receive deliverance. Nobody else is not doing that. If they if they're doing it, they just they just got the skin. They don't have the breath. All right. So that's that's the uh, us proving what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High is doing the work. All right. Those that do the work hate this world, man. Just in the spirit, man, because we 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 hate this place. All right. Michael two and ten. The scripture says. Michael two and ten. So like, arise ye and depart for this is not your rest. And that ye is the men has, that, that do the work of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. All right. The light has shined in their life. They understand what, what's the need of them in these times. All right. They will arise and depart. All right. The scripture says arise. All right. And depart for this is not your rest. America is not your rest. All right. Because it is polluted. Yeah. It's polluted with what the, the, uh, the wicked, wicked things. All right, because it's controlled by the wicked. All right, uh, homosexuals running rampant. Homosexuals got more rights. All right, they got civil rights as if they. This was the 1960s. All right, in Birmingham, Alabama, with, with Negroes. See, this is a wicked place, man. They they got, uh, 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 like I said, men uh, trying to have babies, man. Men that just getting their rod chopped off and becoming women, man. And it's legal. All right, this 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 the, this is the thing now. Okay. You got, once again, a woman, all right, going to war, okay, to fight 
for uh, her homeland. Oh, man, that's upside down, man. This is a, a polluted place, man, amongst a million more things, man. All right? That's why the scripture said, because it is polluted, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. All right? And it will destroy you if you uh, keep conforming unto America and the American ways, right? Because Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you with a sore destruction by the way, all right, of of uh, 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 what the world deems as UFOs, all right? Our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, is going to show up on a big fathership, him and the rest of the Allahayims, to destroy this place with concentrated beams of fire, all right, accompanied by thermonuclear fire, which is, is accompanied by the thermonuclear missiles that, that's going to be shot on America. That's that sore destruction, all right? So when the scripture says arise and depart, that don't mean physically, all right? Don't That don't mean catch a plane ticket and, and leave America since you know it's going to be destroyed or or, or, or get a, a ticket to a, a space station and try to leave the earth. No, that's spiritually. And how do you do that spiritually? Come back to Yahweh while Yahweh Shah. All right. All Israelite men do the work of our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shah. That's arising and depart. All right. Because you love salvation. You love Yahweh Shah, man. And you hate your current state, man. All right. This is um the book of Philippians. Uh, chapter 3 and uh, verse, start at verse 7. Cut. Um, yeah, Philippians 3 and 7. And, and this is the Apostle Paul speaking, all right? But what things, but things were gained to me. It's so like, let me start over. I'm getting a little too excited. Uh, Philippians 3 and 7. But what things were gained to me, those I counted lost for a Mashiach. All right. And that's in this current state. The things that we count gain. All right. Uh, 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 having a roof over our head. OK. Having a stable, stable uh, a job or stable income, so to speak. All right. Uh, um, you know, anything that you that you count gain. OK. Uh, a, a woman. All right. Uh, a car or, or whatever, you know. Just to give a couple uh, examples of what people can count gain living in America, all right? But what things were, were gained to me, Paul said, those I counted lost for Hamashiach. So which meaning you may have to lose things that you count gain, all right, in order to keep pushing this truth for Hamashiach's sake, man, all right? Or just for pushing this truth, man. A job, you can lose your job. Boss can see you, all right? Uh, uh, people don't want to go out and don't want to do the work of your house shy because they want to keep a so-called rep. Hey man, you, you hey, you're gonna get destroyed, man. Hey, those those I counted lost for a martial sake, Paul says. Verse eight, Philippians three and eight, yeah, doubtless, and I count all things but lost for the excellency of the knowledge of a martial Yahweh Shah, my Lord. All right. So he said, Yeah, doubtless. All right, I, I I didn't even think about it. I counted all things but lost. All things three uh, three hundred and sixty, all right, which means all. All right, total 360, all right? All things, all right? All lost for the excellency. What's the excellency of the knowledge of a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai, our Lord, all right? And Savior, all right? The the, the keys to, the, to to salvation, man. Him allowing us to understand, which is the light shining in us, all right? To do the work, okay? Lord willing, we be those men and we endure unto the end, all right? And not to be conformed to this world, all right? <clears throat> Read on <clears throat> in Philippians 3 and 8, for whom I have suffered the loss for of all things. All right. We are willing to suffer the loss of, of all things. All right. And do count them but dumb. We count them worthless, man. All right. That I may win a Mashiach. All right. So things of the world. Okay. We must suffer the persecution. We must suffer any trials and tribulations. All right, the trials, all right, anything that comes our way, because at the end of the day, it's, it's of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, Abaratah, Lord willing, all right, he just had mercy, mercy upon us, all right, especially in the times of Jacob's trouble, leading up to the destruction of America, all right, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things. So you may lose all things, man, all right, for Mashiach's sake, all right, and do count them dumb, all right, but you got to count them dumb, man, count them worthless, all right. That you may win salvation, that you may win Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right? You can't win Yahweh Shah Mashiach by conforming to this world. Okay? Being 
being being lovers of, of this of this current wicked kingdom that we live in. All right. Verse nine and be found in him, which is a Mashiach, not having my own righteousness. That's right. Because our righteousness is what? Filthy rags to the most high, which is of the law. Hmm. But that which is through the faith of a Mashiach. All right. Because that's the only way we're going to be saved. All right. Because we can't keep the law, statutes, and commandments here in our captivity. All right. Only what? Through faith. All right. But that which is through the faith of a Mashiach, the faith of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. All right, the righteousness which is of the Most High by faith. That's the only way that we're going to receive salvation. All right, especially not conforming to this world, you're going to see total destruction, 100% guaranteed. All right, that's why we hate this place, man. All right, the abominations of this place, man. You know, like the Apostle Paul said, we we uh, uh, he said he counted uh, all things lost, man. All right, this that instance in Matthew chapter 19. All right, when um, the, the certain rich man came to Yahweh Shah, boasting that he had kept all the commandments, and Yahweh Shah, you know, told him, give all things, all those things up and follow him. All right, uh, Yahweh Shah told the disciples what it is easy uh, for a man. Matter of fact, let's read it. So, uh, Matthew 19 and 24. It, uh, and the point is in uh, 27. And again, I say unto you, it is easy for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of heaven. 25. All right, so yeah, you got to. Hey, the riches of the world, man. Conforming to the riches of the world, you'll get destroyed, man, because they're not going to save you in that day. All right, as the scripture says, Matthew 19 and 25, when his disciples heard it, they were exceedingly amazed, saying, who can be saved? Verse 26, but Yahweh shall be held them and said unto them, with men this is impossible, with the, but with the most high all things are possible. The point, verse 27, then answered Peter and said unto him, behold, we have forsaken all and followed thee. What shall we have therefore? All right. So Peter said we have forsaken all. All right. To to follow Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. All right. And he's asking what, what we're going to have therefore. All right. Because hey, it's a reward for for suffering all and losing all, like Paul said, for a Mashiach's sake. And this is the reward. Matthew 19 and 28. And Yahweh Shah said unto them, and that them is the disciples. All right, which later on became apostles. Verily, I say unto you, verily means truly. All right, so this this is a true statement. This is a prophecy. All right, that shall be fulfilled in the kingdom that ye which have followed me in the regeneration, which means in the reincarnation. All right, so if you follow your whole shot back then, all right, all right, in the in the reincarnation, which is now, which are the last days, when the Son of Man shall sit in the throne of His glory, which is the kingdom upon earth, ye also shall sit upon 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? So you shall be gov the governed body of the nation of Israel in the kingdom, all right? If you forsake all, okay, and follow Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right? In the name of his son, Yahweh Shah, if you conform not to this world, man, and, com and conform to Yahweh Shah, all right? Hate this world and love Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah in the name of his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, all right? Luke 14, and 26. And it reads, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me, if any man put his hand unto the plow, all right, doing the work of Yahweh Shah, and hate not his father and mother and sister, so like him, his, his mother and wife and children and brother and sister, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. So let's read that one more time. Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me, putting his hand to the plow, all right, doing the work, and hate not his father, all right? And that this, this when, it, when the scripture says, hate not his father and his mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, and your own life also doesn't mean, you know, you, you're walking around banging your own head against the wall, you know, you're doing all type of uh, wicked things to yourself. You know, I hate me, I hate me. No, that doesn't mean that, all right? That doesn't mean, you know, punch your father in the face, face you know, kick your wife in the ass, all right, beat your sister up, all right, kick your kids around. No, that doesn't mean that in all hatred. No, that means don't put all of these things, which are things that might be dear to you in this world, don't put them before doing the work. Of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? Don't put them clearly before Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? All right. 
Because if so, what the scripture said, you cannot be the a disciple of Yahweh Shah. All right. So let's read it one more time. Luke 20, Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Verse 27, and whosoever doeth not bear his cross, all right, bearing your cross is putting off this world, all right, and putting on the work of Yahweh Shai, and there's no easy way to do it, all right? And come after me cannot be my disciple, all right? So if you're uh, not putting off this world, all right, hating this world and loving Yahweh Shai, all right, making uh, uh, for the rather brethren giving diligent, uh, make your calling of an election sure. If you do these things, ye shall never fall, all right? You're not a disciple, all right, of a, a Mashiach, Yahweh Shai. Okay, Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying, all right, to recap the lesson a little bit, 